what is true, a Howard County Church School had its day in court after Maryland kicked it out of a voucher program and sought more than $100,000 for scholarship money it has received. WMAR 2 News' Jeff Hager has more on the battle surrounding a Bethel Christian Academy. Jeff? Well, Kelly, this case pits sexual orientation and gender rights at odds with religious beliefs. But attorneys for the Academy argue there is room for both when it comes to school vouchers. These pictures depict smiling faces at the Bethel Christian Academy schools in Savage, even though the state now frowns upon giving scholarships to low-income students to attend schools which condemn anything other than marriage between a man and a woman. Last year, it ruled the school ineligible to participate in what it calls its Broadening Options and Opportunities for Students Today program, or BOOST and ask it to pay back more than $100,000 in past vouchers. The Boost Advisory Board in this program is just basically kicking them out because they disagree with their religious beliefs. And so the law is pretty clear. What it says is schools must agree to allow everybody into their program. Well, Bethel has already told them over and over again that they allow everyone in. Attorneys with a group called the Alliance Defending Freedom picked up the school's cause and they're challenging the state's decision since there's no evidence of any student being turned away because of its religious beliefs. It's a voluntary choice. If parents say, yes, that's the school I want to go to, those students, those low-income students, are now being punished because they have less of a choice. Less choice, they argue, for students ranging in age from kindergartners to eighth graders, who are far too young to marry anyway. The state has asked some religious schools to strip language about their beliefs from their handbooks so they can continue to participate in the voucher program. But the school argues that it, too, has rights, and it shouldn't have to hide tenets of its faith. Bethel is clearly a religious school. They're proud of that. They don't hide it. They're doing well, especially with the low-income students. In fact, they're such a diverse school. They have over 40 countries represented. 85% of the student population are diverse. They're racial and ethnic minorities. So how could you stay, say that they're not allowing everyone in? They're one of the most diverse schools out there. Since the state board's ruling last year, Bethel Christian Academy has lost 80 students or about 20% of its student body. But at this point, it's not trying to seek damages over the impact on its enrollment. It's trying to block the six-figure payout for children who already used vouchers to attend the school over the last two years. All right, Jeff.